Luther here with my new staff pupil, George. We're in our first hour of coaching still, aren't we? Yep. This is real time, we're not cutting anything or cheating. Every shot you see, bad, good and different, we report on. We're not scared to let you know how we're getting on. So George, this far, you had your pre-shot routine. Give me, the, give me some thoughts on what you're feeling about the movement of the swing. Uh, yeah, so as long as you get sort of your standard operating procedure right, it seems, don't really think about it, just sort of follow the momentum through as you bring your shoulders through and then swinging through the club head, sort of just trying to, as you were saying, decapitate, decapitate the team. Decapitate the thing. Follow through, really. Great. So you have to, you've got your pre-shot routine. It's now that the shoulders, arms and club create the Y shape. Mm -hmm. And then when you swish through with the hands, the shoulders will be automatically helping you, as you've already proved. If we go back to George's first couple of shots that went airborne, you'd be amazed how good his follow through was. It was complete in every regard. It was totally committed. The weight had transferred to the left edge of your left shoe and you were still in balance. And this is, this is why golf is difficult. It's a discus thrower's coordination with a snooker player's poise and balance. <laughs> it's a combination of great power, but great finesse, okay? But it has to be summed up in 1.8 seconds. And where we're at so far, prepare, turn, and swish through. That's where we're going. All right, so here are a couple of shots. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to allow you to let the swing go to three quarters is fine, mm -hmm. as long as it's still the Y shape and the swish is there. Sounds okay. good. Okay. So, you might think we're looking for good shots. We're not, we're looking for good swishes. We know if the swish is good, the shot will take care of itself. Very good routine, that's amazingly slick. Clear your mind, you're going to turn the Y shape and swish the T-peg. Amazing, amazing. Now, we can probably hear at home that he was a couple of grooves thin on the shot, but again, the ball's got 150 yards right on the target and with a lovely bit of soft draw. That is wonderful. So George, if you can just go there and yeah, sure. uh, just watch me demonstrate. You know in the last session I twisted the piece of paper for you. Yep. Now what twisting the piece of paper did was to get you to understand that the Y shape to a three quarter swing, a huge amount is happening, but you don't have to think about it. Mm -hmm. All right? So already you've got posture. So when your shoulders turn the Y shape, you can see there's an amazing amount of information. If I wasn't here by this time, if you'd been having letters off a friend or your dad or, or just <laughs> a fellow enthusiast, you'd have been told a couple of things already, one of which is keep your head still. Absolute poison, not in a month of Sundays, just focus on the ball, the tee peg, that'll do for me. Okay? Also, the idea that if you swing steadily or gently, you'll be more accurate. No, you've been very creative this, this afternoon. You've turned and you've switched through. The ball's gone 150 yards for a reason. You gave it some acceleration. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm looking to the folks at home in the camera. Here's the pre-shot routine that you've already adopted. Your SOP. And I'm going to show you the poor shot. That's when the arms go by themselves. Sure, you're shoulder high, but can you see I've had no benefit? So the first inch in the backswing is the shoulders turning to create the Y shape. Can you see that now? Yep. I'll just isolate it for you and I'll show you what happens. It's a big picture, you turn. All right? Now, because your grip is so good, you've got a parallel thumb, fist and fingers, I know that the Y shape turn, the forearms and wrists are gonna behave beautifully. Mm -hmm. And from that point, you can release through to a finish. Now, George is already understanding that at this early stage, the phrase, prepare, turn, swish through, is a very complete piece of doctrine. We can break it down. For the advanced player, or George, you know, once you've been playing a couple of years, you'll come to understand that the left shoulder is the most important thing to learn. So the first thing I gave you, lesson only, was the left thumb. Yep. That's, that is the first lesson of a lifetime's lesson. Second lesson, left shoulder. People say to me, what's golf about? It's about the first inch of the left shoulder moving in the backswing, okay? That's the essence. It's like the long jumper hitting the board. You've got to hit it right, okay? So through the pre-shot routine, my shoulders turn, but I can tell you now, George, my left shoulder has gone to my throat. Can you see that? Yes. And then in slow motion, I will swish through for you. I decapitate the tee peg, the club head goes through, and I finish. We're still on prepared turn swish, mm -hmm. but we're just going to perfect and improve the backswing. So when you come. Sure. Okay, so 
good. Great routine. So clear your mind, George. You've done a great job. You're going to turn and swish through the tea peg. Wonderful. 150 yards, neutral draw. And if you look at that in slow motion, there's a huge amount of great movement. So George, you're doing ever so well. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you're adding to your physical skills, but we're not adding more information. You're still living on the three buttons. I'm preparing with my mind, I'm loading on my shoulders, I'm swishing through with my hands. Yep. You happy? Yeah. Good, so am I. Mixed two of us.